good morning. Uh, hello, dears. I hope you are fine. Uh, grade three, uh, unit four. Okay, today we're gonna answer uh, the workbook unit four. Uh, open page forty-six in your activity book. Uh, number one, uh, order and write. The first animal will be yes, that's right, slot. Number two, chimpanzee. Okay, number uh, question number two, lesson and order. Number one, it was great at the wildlife park yesterday, wasn't it? Number two, yes, it was. I love seeing the chimpanzee. Number three, I thought the slot was great. It moved very slowly. Number four, yeah. Uh, number four, let's look on the wildlife park webcam. We know that webcam is a camera connected to the computer. Okay, we might see it again. Number five, yes, that's a great idea. Yes, that's a great idea. Number three, question number three, answer the questions. When did Henny and Hannah go to the wildlife park? Yes, it's yesterday. Okay, yesterday they went to the wildlife park. Number two, which animals did Hannah like? Okay, that's last. And what about Henny? What about Henny? Okay, Henny uh, say that the chimpanzee, he liked the chimpanzee. Okay, turn the page, page 47. Here we have, uh, uh, we have the animals, okay, uh, we, uh, which, the, which you can find it in the wildlife park. Okay, panic fox, cheetah, cobra, sea lion, chimpanzee, spider monkey, a cold slot. Read and write. Number one, it's the fastest animal in the world. Cheetah, that's right. Number two, it's moved very slowly. Yeah, that's sloth. Number three, it's a very colorful bird. Colorful, colorful bird. It's like the parrot. It's called a cow. Okay. Number four, it's a dangerous. Number four, it's a dangerous snake. Cobra. Okay. Number five, it lives. It lives in the water. But it isn't a fish. Yeah, that's right, sea lion. Number six, it's big. It lives, it lives in the forest. It doesn't have a tail. Chimpanzee. Seven, it lives in the desert. Okay, it lives in the desert. It has big ears. Panic fox, that's right. Number eight, it's a small. It lives in the forest. It has a tail. It's called spider monkey. Okay, turn the page, page 40. Uh, here in page 48, uh, do the crossword will be a homework for you, okay? You can do it with yourself. Number two, uh, read and complete will be also homework, okay? It's very easy. Number three, read and match. Number one, it's already answered. A penguin lives in a large group called colony, okay? Penguins, we know that penguins, uh, thousands of penguins uh, can live together, okay? Uh, in a group called colony, okay? Number two, an owl, an owl would be number B, lives in a hole in a tree, okay? An owl lives in a hole in a tree. Number three, a crayfish, okay? Takes shelter, uh, crayfish uh, takes shelter under rocks in rivers. Crayfish takes shelter under rocks in rivers. Okay, number four, lions and cheetahs, okay? Would be number B, hunt other animals to eat. Lions and cheetahs hunt other animals to eat. Okay, uh, turn the page, page 49. Okay, here we have uh, the rule of might and might not. Uh, we, we, we say that uh, we use might and might not uh, to say about something uh, uh, which, uh, which will be possible or not possible, okay? According to what we think or what we guess. After might and might not, I put the verb in infinitive, okay? Uh, and the negative of my is my not. Here we are, we are talking about the elephant, okay? Number one, uh, read and complete. Question number one, read and complete, okay? Number one, it might be an elephant, yes, okay? Number two, um, it might eat leaves and grass, that's right. Number three, it might, it might not be the biggest animal, okay? We know that the blue whale is the biggest animal in the world, okay? So number, th number three will be, it might not be the biggest animal. Number four, it might be uh, able to swim, okay? It might be able to swim, okay? Number two, read and complete. Number one, uh, there, is a, there is a picture of a sloth animal, okay? It might not be able to move fast. We know that the sloth uh, moves very slowly, okay? So it might not be able to move fast. Number two, turtle, it lives in rivers. It might take shelter under a rock. 
Okay, that's right, number two. Number three, okay, um, it, uh, it's a small bird. It might not live in a hole. Okay, we know that the birds live in a place called, or a shelter called nest. Number four, crocodile, it lives in rivers, it might eat fish. Okay, turn the page, page 50. Um, number one, do the puzzle, you can do it with yourself, it's very easy. Number two, read and circle. Okay, a habitat, we know that a habitat is like an environment, okay. Uh, a habitat is a place with, uh, with a particular kind of climate and landscape, okay. There is snow and ice in a polar habitat, okay? We know that uh, we can or we can see penguins in the polar habitat because they live in, in any place uh, full of snow and ice. Uh, there aren't there aren't lots of trees and, and the plants are small in the polar habitat. Animals take shelter, we know that take shelter, it's like take a home. Animals take home to be safe, okay, and to help their families from other fierce animals. Uh, animals take shelter in pearls, okay, uh, uh, in rainforests, uh, or rainforests are warm, are warm and wet places, okay. Rainforests, you can find the weather in the rainforests, uh, very warm, and the, there, there are uh, with places they are in tropical uh, part of the world uh, the trees grow a lot of fruit uh, for animals to eat so uh, in the rainforests you can find many animals okay uh, which uh, which are which are eating lots of fruit so in the rainforests you can find lots of fruit uh, on, uh, on the trees okay wetland habitats are near uh, to the sea we know that the wetland uh, or everywhere you find a wetland, you find uh, something like a, a lake, small lakes, okay, or a water. So wetland must be near from any sea or any river, okay? Uh, so wetlands habitat are near the sea or rivers. A swamp, we know that the swamp is a piece of, uh, of, of, land, of, of land, okay, a piece of land. And you can find it, uh, you can find in it uh, some water or uh, uh, a lake of water, okay? Uh, and surrounded by some trees or, or, or some grass. So, uh, a swamp is a wetland habitat with lots of trees, okay? Lots of trees around the lake or around uh, 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 an area of, wo of water. Animals hide under the tree rocks, uh, animals hide under the tree roots in the water, okay? So, in the wetland, you can find, uh, or animals take shelter under the tree roots of, uh, of, the, of the trees, okay? Number three here, read and write, okay? Um, a spider monkey lives in a rainforest habitat, okay? Uh, he lives in a rainforest because, because the rainforest is full of uh, fruit, okay? Number two, a turtle lives in a wetland habitat, uh, wetland because he, uh, the turtle lives in a wetland because the wetland uh, the wetland has uh, some some area or uh, uh, many areas, okay, uh, of water. Uh, number three, an arctic uh, fox live in a polar habitat where you can find snow and ice, and the, the weather is very cold, okay. A macaw, a macaw, it's a bird like the parrot, color for parrot. A macaw lives in a rainforest habitat because uh, uh, in the rainforest, we, we said, you can find trees uh, full of fruit uh, and small plants. Okay, turn the page, page, page 51. Here we are talking about the equator, North Pole and South Pole. Uh, I want you to know that the equator, the equator is very near from the sun. The equator is very near from the sun and in, in the area of equator, you can find many rainforests. You can find many rainforests, okay? Uh, the North Pole and the South Pole, uh, here you can find the polar, the polar habitat, where you can find penguins, fennec fox, okay, uh, the animals uh, uh, which love to, uh, which love to, which like to live in place full of snow and uh, ice. So equator, equator is very near from the sun, okay. Equator is very near from the sun. Uh, it will be in the center of the Earth, okay. North Pole and South Pole, uh, they are far from the sun. They are very far from the sun, so they, you can find snow and ice in these areas, okay? Read and choose. Which is hotter? Yeah, we know that the hotter or
or the, 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 the first place near from the sun is the equator. So the hotter will be equator, okay. Which area doesn't get much sunshine? Equator? No, it's not equator. Equator is near from the sun. It will be south pole, okay. Number three, what habitat is near uh, from the equator? Yeah, pro, pro, near from the equator, grassland. Polar, okay, you can fire, find the polar habitat in the north or in the south because they are very far from the sun. Okay, and you can find snow and ice. But the equator, you can find grassland and you can find also rainforests. Okay, number four, which habitats are in Egypt? Uh, here in Egypt, we are uh, not near from the sun, but we are. Uh, away from uh, the, no the North Pole and the South Pole, okay? So you can find wetland and you can find desert. Okay. Habitats in Egypt, you can find wetland and desert, desert okay? Turn the page, turn the page, page 52. Okay, here we, we have um, the phonics, okay? You can do it with yourself. Uh, page uh, 53, okay? Here we, ha we have... Uh, the layers of the rainforest, canopy layer, canopy layer, emergent layer, forest floor, understory layer. Look, uh, look again, read and complete. Okay, birds and butterflies are, uh, and small monkeys live in the emergent layer, number one. Number two, there is shelter and lots of fruit in the canopy layer. Okay, uh, number three, monkeys, slaughters and birds live in, uh, in the canopy layer. Okay. Number four, the understory layer is humid and darker, uh, darker than the canopy layer, okay? Leaders, frogs, and insects live in the understory layer. Number six, the plants on the first floor have big leaves, okay? They don't have small leaves. Uh, number seven, very little sunshine gets through trees on the forest floor. Okay, here we know we have uh, little sunshine, okay? Uh, so very little sunshine gets through trees on the forest floor. Okay, turn the page. Page fifty-four. Uh, do the puzzle. You can do it with, your, with yourself. Okay, uh, read and complete. Okay, number one. Uh, a flood. Uh, it, it when there is too much rain onto land that is usually dry. Okay, number two. Deforestation. We know that deforestation, that people cut down the trees, okay, uh, to, to use the land or to uh, build some, uh, fact, uh, uh, some, bu some buildings on it, okay? So deforesta deforestation is when people cut down forests. Number three, pollution. Pollution makes the land, air, and water dirty. Number four, building new homes can destroy habitats. That's right. Number four, when a volcano erupts, okay, ash falls on the ground, okay. Number six, when it's dry, plants can't grow and farmers can't grow food. Plants can't grow and farmers can't grow food, okay. Number uh, seven, a number seven, a drought is when there isn't enough rain, okay, that's right. Uh, here, um, read the text on page 61. We'll do this, uh, uh, this exercise with, with each other. A flood can help the land because water brings nutrients to the land, number, number 1A. Number 2, ash from volcanoes can help the land because the ash is good for the soil, number B. When, uh, when fires burn dead leaves and plants, uh, the nutrients go in, into the soil. Okay. The rest of the uh, uh, the unit, uh, you can do it with yourself. It will be homework. Thank you so much and goodbye.